Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We are just starting tomorrow, Monday, of the Holy Tomorrows, uh, Monday night after tomorrow. And now we are going to celebrate this Mass this Sunday, 
Mass, the Palm Sunday Mass today. In today we're going to contemplate the passion of our Lord, according to St. Matthew. It's a occasion for us to meditate about the passion of our Lord and to prepare ourselves for the Holy Week and to see what our Lord supported in, the, in His passion. Supported because our sins. He died because of us. So, before all, let's grant, let's uh, greet Him for all He did for us. He shed His own blood for us. He gave everything for us. And so now it's a meditation of what we have to give to Him and what do we have to answer? We have to give everything to Him. Our soul, our body, and also our sins, as the saint says, say. So let's now prepare ourselves and to beg pardon for our sins at the very beginning of this Mass. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my most grievous thought. Therefore, I ask with the first prayer of reversion all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that, that we may heed his, les his lesson of patient suffering and so merit to share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The servant of the Lord said, The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? All who see me mock at me. They make mouths at me. They shake their heads. Commit your cause to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. My, my God, God, my God, God why, why have you forsaken, forsaken me? me? For dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count all my bones. My, my God, God, my, my God, God, why, why have you forsaken, forsaken me? me? They divide my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far away. O my help, come quickly to my aid. My, my God, God, my God, why, why have, have you forsaken, forsaken me? I'll tell of your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of the congregation, mm -hmm. I'll praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. My, my God, God, my God, God why, why have you forsaken me? A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave. Being born in human likeness and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that in the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Praise to you, Lord, the King of eternal glory. Praise to you. Obedient for us unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him and gave him the name above every name. Praise to you, Lord, King of eternal glory. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I betray him to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that moment he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus asking, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? Go into the city to a certain man and said to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, he took his place with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you, you betray me. And they became greatly distressed. 
and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl, with, my, with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is, in, it is written of him, but bow to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread. After blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take it. This is my body. Then he took a cup. After giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, You will all become des deserters because of me this night. For it's written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Though all become deserters because of you, I'll never desert you. Truly I tell you, this very night, before the cock crow crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so all of the, all the disciples. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to the disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to grieve and agitate. Then he said to them, I'm deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. Going a little further, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not a, what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, So, could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into temptation. For the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away for a second time and prayed. My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for a third time saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at the hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived with him a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had, been give, had given them a sign, saying, The one who will kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi. And kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. Then he came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly, one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, 
cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into, this, into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then, then would the scriptures be fulfilled, which say it must happen in this way? At that hour Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out with the swords and clubs to arrest me, as though I were abandoned? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest. In those hours, in, in, in whose house the scribes and the elders had gathered. But Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the, country, as the courtyard of the high priest. Going inside, he sat with the guards, in order to see how this would end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for false testimony against Jesus, so they might put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last, two came forward and said, This fellow said, Unable to destroy the temple of God, and to build it in three days. The high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I put you under oath before the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so, but I tell you from now on, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has blasphemed. Why do we still need witnesses? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your verdict? They answered, He, he deserves, deserves death. death. Then they spat in his face and struck him. Some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, Christ, who is it that struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. When Peter went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him. She said to the bystanders, this man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse, and he swore an oath. I do not know the man. At that moment the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented and brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, What is that to us? See to it yourself. Throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed. He went and hung himself. But the chief priests taking the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood money. After conferring together, they used them to buy the potter's field as a place to bury foreigners. For this reason, 
That field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. And they took 30 pieces of silver, the price of the one on whom a price had been set, on whom some of the people of Israel had set a price. And they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord commanded me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? You say so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many accusations they make against you? But Jesus gave him no answer, not even a single charge. So the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the festival, the governor was accustomed to release a prisoner for the crowd, anyone they wanted. At that time, there was a notorious prisoner named Barabbas. So after they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, whom is called the Christ? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. While he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that innocent man, for today I have suffered a great deal because of a dream about him. Now the chief priests and elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus killed. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to him, Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Christ? All of them said, Let, Let him be crucified. crucified. Then he asked, Why? What evil has been done? But they shouted all the more, Let, Let him be crucified. So, that, so when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Then the people as a whole answered, His blood be on us and on our children. So he released Barabbas from them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor, took Jesus into the governor's headquarters, and they gathered in the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. They put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, Hail King, King of the, the Jews. Jews! They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene called Simon, and they compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they had come to the place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink, mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head, they put a charge against him, which read, This is Jesus. King of the Jews. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, 
saying. He saved others. He cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now, if he wants to. For he said, I am God's son. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three in the after, three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice. Heli, Heli, Lema Sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, This man is calling for Elijah. At once, one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, picked it, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, the rocks were split, the tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were erased. After his resurrection, they came out of their tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake, and what took place, they were terrified, and said, Truly, this man was God's son. Many women were also there, looking on from a distance. They also followed Jesus from Galilee, and they had provided for him. Among them were Mary Magdalene, and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, the mother of the sons of Zebedee, when it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea called, named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb which had been hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. The next day, that is the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember what the impostor said while he was still alive. After three days, I will rise again. Therefore, command the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may go and steal him away and tell the people, He has been raised from the dead, and the last deception will be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard of soldiers. Go, make it as secure as you can. So they went with the guard and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone. Maria, grazia plena Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tu Iesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, orde nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri amico. 
to save mankind, to save me, to save you. God the Son wanted to become incarnate, becoming like us in everything, less accepted sin. With, if we think on that, what goodness, what mercy He had upon us. And He humbled Himself, as some Paul says, by making Himself obedient, even until death on the cross, in order to save us, in order to save you, in order to save me. When God was on the cross, He was thinking on you. In that moment, He forgave you for everything. But He had to pass by the cross, by the death. Today, Palm Sunday, Jesus triumphantly enters Jerusalem with all the people receiving him. But tomorrow, I mean, in the other days, he will suffer the humiliation and pains of the passion. One thing that you must to understand to put in our mind, as the pain is our companion. And we only cease to, ex to exist in the heavenly paradise. Pain will accompany you during all, all your life. Because you, 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 because you are a Christian, because you follow our Lord Jesus Christ. The path, our path to heaven must pass to the cross. Pain. It's therefore indispensable for a man to understand that the true value of suffering so as not to fall into discouragement. So we have to put in mind. So let's realize that pain in our life has countless benefits for our salvation. The pain, it's good for us. Why? It brings us closer to God. How many people, when they suffer, they join their hands like this. Sometimes people selfishness. These are like this, thinking on on himself. With when pain comes, he start put the hands like this. Pain bring brings man closer to God. But also it teaches that not to place not to place our hope or earthly goods. Both things bring us close, close to God, closer to God, and also to, um, to not place our hope in earthly goods. Because things in the, on the earth will not give you uh, happiness. On God will you give will you will give you happiness. So during this holy week, let us unite ourselves with our Lord Jesus Christ and with our Our Lady. In the pains that will unfold to us in the, this week, with the, the certainty that after death. The glory will be manifested to us. Once more, let's 
to put our intentions in this mess, but about, above all these intentions, that we could, by the whole week, by the death, by the pains of our Lord, we could be always, always closer to God, to our late St. Joseph that is uh, praying for us in heaven. May God bless you. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord is sacrifice at your hands, for the grace and glory of his name, and for the blood of his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that, though we do not merit it by our own deeds, Yet by the, this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lift. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners. And accept the unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins, and His resurrection has purchased our, our justification. And so, with all the angels, we praise You, as in a in joyful celebration we acclaim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, as we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dofal, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of her face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased to you through all the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty, o God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, us Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of her mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as a way to the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom and the power, and the glory of Jesus, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of our Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Father, if this chalice cannot pass without my drinking it, your will be done.
Parce Domine, Parce Populo Tuo, E in eternum miras caris modi. Parce Domine, Parce Populo Tuo, E in eternum miras caris modi. Selectamus iram vindicem, gloremus ante iudicem, clamemus ore supplici, dicamus omnes cerui. Parce Domine, parce populo Nostris malis ofendius, tuam Deus plementiam, e funde nobis de super remisor indulgentiam. Arce Domine, arce populo tuo, ne in eternum iras cadis non. Non tempus acceptabile, da lacrima non ribulis, lavare cordis victimam, quella sta dura caritas. Parce Domine, parce popolo tuo, e in eterno miras caris no. Audi benigne conedditor, nostras preces cum fretibus, in hoc sacro eiunio, cosa squadra genarius. Parce Domine, parce populo tuo, ne in eternum iras caris mori. Scrutatur al me cordiu, mi firma tu si svidiu. Ad te reversi dexide, remissiro mi stazia. Parce Domine, parce populo tuo, ne in eternu miras caris nobi. Christus vinci, Christus reino, Christus impera, Christus vinci, Christus regna, Christus impera, Christus vinci. Maria Regnat, Maria 
Anima Christi sanctificame, Corpus Christi salvame, Sanguis Christi nebriame, Arcolate dis Christi lavame, Passio Christi confortame, Oh, 
kindness and fidelity, continuing his kindness for a thousand generations, and forgiving wickedness and crime and sin. Do come along in our company, yet pardon our wickedness and sins, and receive us as your own. Mary, the stair of heaven, who nourished the Lord, has rooted out the plague of death with the first parents of a man planted. May that very star now deign to restrain the constellation whose warfare strikes the people with the ulcer of the terrible death, a gl glorious star of the sea. Save us from, from the plague. Hear us, for your Son honors you, refusing you nothing. Save us, Jesus, for whom the Virgin Mother beseeches you. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Out of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Sit at the benediction, 
Sacramento mirabili, passionis tu e memoria mar reliquisti. Tribu e quesumus ita nos corpuris et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari. Ut redemptionis tu e fructum in obis iugiter sensiamus. Qui vivis et regnas in saecula seculorum. Amen. Benedictus Deus, Benedictus Homem Santo Meius, Benedictus Jesus Christus, Verus Deus et Verus Homo, Benedictum Nomen Jesus, Benedictum Coreus Sacratissimus, Benedictus Aius, Preciosissimus Sanguis, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother, and Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Fundet crucis misterium, Qua vita mortem petuli, Et morte vitam protuli. Quo vulneratus in super, Mucrone divo lance, Ut nos lavaret crimine, manaet lundat sanguine.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, most beloved God of God the Father, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, most loving Mother of God the Son, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, most faithful spouse of the Holy Spirit, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The intentions will be the same ones placed during the Mass. And also, please place your intentions also in the comments. Today, we will be contemplating the Sorrowful Mysteries. In the first Sorrowful Mystery, we contemplate the agony in the garden. He was in such agony, and he prayed so fervently that his sweat became like drops of blood falling on the ground. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and our thirst is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from the fires of hell. hell. Lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Lady of Christians, pray for us. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. In the second joyful mystery, we second sorry. In the second sorrowful mystery, we contemplate the scourging at the pillar. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save, save us from the fires, fires of hell. hell. May all souls heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Our Lady of Sorrows, pray for us. Our Lady help the Christians, pray for us. In the third sorrowful mystery, we contemplate the crowning of thorns. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, especially those who must need of thy mercy. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. In the fourth sorrowful mystery, he contemplated the carrying of the cross. And carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. Saint Lucius Gonzaga, pray for us. Saint Francis the Great, pray for us. In the fifth sorrowful mystery, we contemplate the crucifixion. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, "Father, into your hands I commend my spirit." And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. We all souls to heaven, especially those who most need thy mercy. Our Lady, help the Christians. Pray for us. Our Lady of Sorrows. Pray for us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Today we cry for banished children of Eve. Today we set up our sights, morning when we bring these valley of tears. Tend our most gracious advocate, and ask mercy towards us. And after these, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant and beseech thee, in meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son and Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Mother of Christ. Pray for us. Mother Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother Most Pure. Pray for us. 
Mother most chaste. Pray for us. Mother inviolate. Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our creator. Pray for us. Mother of our savior. Pray for us. Mother of the church. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seed of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. Queen of apostles, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of the family, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, pray for us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant unto us, thy servants, we beseech thee, O Lord God, at all times to enjoy health of soul and body, and by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, when free from the sorrows of this present life, to enter into that joy which hath been win. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. Please like, share, and comment. Salve Maria.